I think for everyone, you know, life is a, a journey of discovery. For me, I discovered the difference between a relationship and an arrangement. What some people call an arrangement, I would call a playfair. The humdrum, everyday business of life is excluded completely. It's about playtime. And I would say that this is one area where women can genuinely make some real money. In a world where we are trying to promote gender equality, then no, a man shouldn't pay the way, it should be equal. But <laughs> that isn't actually how the world works. My mom really felt that the act of giving a gift was her language of love. And it happens to be the language of love of many women out there in the world today. The money affords you the ability to be happy. It's not that it brings the happiness. It just eliminates all the negative factors so that you can actually be happy. I've paid a few mortgages along the way. I've paid many car notes. I've bought a couple cars, a lot of trips. Why do we associate utopia with meeting a soulmate and settling down and living happily ever after? Did we read too many fairy tales when we were younger? I've been conditioned for years and for my whole life to believe one thing, but in fact, I actually want another. Why do I feel bad for wanting an arrangement, not a relationship? You do understand that you're having dinner with a sex worker. So the, the, then the question becomes, do you want to have a relationship with a prostitute? Casual sex is not casual. Something happens in the brain. Somehow I came to this belief that the only way I could get affection was to buy affection. How the hell did I get to that belief? The total gift value for that entire period since 1995 is over $225,000. That's huge. Um, I mean, that's shocking. It's very easy to be taken advantage of, to not even get the value that you hope to get out of your generosity. The kind of girl you can get with money, that's the kind of girl you can get with money. I would like to believe that a woman would go out with me and would want to spend time with me, not just for what I can give them. The people we lie to the most are ourselves. And the thing we lie to ourselves the most about it is love. He just needs someone who can like give back to him as well as he can give. I mean, because that's who he is, he's a giver. I sound, I guess, like an addict here, but are there some gifts that are okay? I'm a historian, I'm not a psychologist. I'm not in the advice-giving business, but I will say to you, stop. <laughs>